So what's the eligibility criteria then if you want to apply for GP training in the UK? So there's a number of things that, that you need to make sure you have in place in order to actually apply in the first place. So you need MBBS or equivalent degree. You need to be eligible for full registration and hold a license to practice from the GMC at the time of intended start dates. So remember, you apply quite far in advance when it comes to um, GP training. You need evidence of achievement of foundation competencies in the three and a half years preceding the start date of your training. Now, this is similar to other specialties. We've talked about things and methods to demonstrate evidence of having competency. You could be currently in a UK foundation program. You could have previously completed a UK foundation program within three and a half years of that start date. You could currently be employed in a specialty training program. So, so a lot of people start training programs in certain fields, whether it be pediatrics or radiology, and then they want to transfer into GP training. So again, you need to demonstrate that you have the competencies, but the commonest way that people will do it as an RMD doctor is using the CREST form that has been talked about in a number of other talks already today. So there's typically a readiness to enter specialty training. The current latest version is the 2021 version. There's not been a 2022 version yet. There may well be, but this basically needs to be signed by a consultant either in the UK or abroad to demonstrate that you have these foundation competencies to allow you to apply to GP training. You need at least two years clinical experience by the time training starts. That could be a mix of training back home. It could be a mix of training in the UK. You need to be eligible to work in the UK in general. So not um, as a clinician, just generally you need to be eligible to work in the UK. And you need a UK driving license or equivalent transport arrangement. It's the one, one specialty where this is part of your criteria because in general practice, you will be doing home visits. You'll be traveling to people's houses to assess them at home, and you need some kind of evidence to show that I can do this when I'm working as a GP trainee. So either your own license, or you will say that I'll, I'll take taxis every day or whatever it might be to get to those certain home visit assessments.